Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunda Creative. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a sky from an image and also do a sky replacement. And the best part about this, you don't need a 10 minute video on how to do a sky replacement. So once you have your image in here, right click on it and click on rasterize layer. Then go to select and click on sky. And this will analyze your image and create a selection for your sky here. Once your selection has been created, what we can do is hold down alt or option on our keyboard and click on the layer mask icon. And this will remove our sky. One thing you may notice is that this selection may have removed some parts of our house. We'll go ahead and fix that, but first I wanna actually import in our sky real quick. So I'll go ahead and bring in this image right here. I'll resize it. And then I'm gonna put it underneath our house. Okay, so sometimes if you're doing a sky replacement, leaving the background of the sky actually might help with the color correction of the scene. That's why I do that. But for those of you that wanna be perfect, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, adjust the perfection of the selection. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our brush tool and we'll go ahead and make sure the color is set to white real quick and make sure your layer mask is selected. We'll zoom into our scene and we'll kind of see what areas have been masked out. So if I remove the sky, you can see, okay, this has been masked out. So let's go ahead and paint over it. And you use the bracket keys on your keyboard uh, to adjust the size of the brush. Make sure the brush hardness is not 100%, like 25% should be good and just start brushing in areas of your image that were you know, accidentally removed. And also if there's other elements of the sky that was left in your original shot, you can see just a little bit of that peachy detail that was left here. I can just come here and set my color to black and now I can start painting over this. When you're removing parts of your image, I would suggest lowering the opacity and the flow to about you know 40 to 50% and just start painting out. So this way, if you paint over anything that you don't mean to, it won't be the biggest deal in the world and you know, you'd be saving yourself a lot of time. So go ahead and remove any of the extra sky elements you don't want in your shot. So when you're happy with your shot, you may need to do a little bit of recolor correction on your image or on the sky. So I'll grab the curves adjustment, right click on it, click on create clipping mask onto my image. And I can come here and just kind of recolor correct my image to kind of match the sky if that's what you wish to do. So now you have a handful of tools to help you remove and replace your sky here in Adobe Photoshop. So even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and sometimes challenging. To help you save time and avoid the struggles of creating good work, we have design templates here for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. If you wish to start saving time now, check out our links in the description below to see all of our Photoshop templates.